Hello Year 10. Today we are doing applications in three dimensions. So to solve three dimensional problems, some methods may include visualizing and drawing relative parts of the problem as a two dimensional problems or redrawing the 3D shape as a net. There is often more than one way to solve a 3D problem. So we have one question down here to look at. It says, a flagpole is supported by two cables reaching from points A and B. The cable reaching from point A is 22 meters long. So here's A and here's the cable, 22 meters long, and is, is at an angle of 34 degrees to the horizontal. Point B is 38 meters from the base of the pole, but we don't know an angle for that one. So all the information has been put onto this diagram for us. Now remember that this is a trying to be a three-dimensional drawing. So this is our flag pole here, okay, which is obviously a vertical pole. And these points A and B are on the ground. So they are making right angles, a vertical pole and horizontal ground. We have these right angles here that are made. However, it does look a little bit strange that the lines going from those right angles out to A and B aren't making a straight angle. That's trying to use a three-dimensional look at this. Okay, so you might have to use your imagination a little bit to try and see how this is three-dimensional. It's just saying that the line A, the bottom of the pole, and P, B aren't all in line together, but they are at right angles with that um, vertical pole. Okay, so hopefully you can visualize what is happening in that diagram. Part A, find the height of the mast, which is the pole, to two decimal places. Now I don't have enough information on this triangle on the right to do that, so we're going to use the triangle over here on the left. We want to find the height of the pole, so I'm gonna call that H. There it is, height of the pole. Using this triangle, that means that I've got the opposite side and I have got the hypotenuse, so I'm going to use sine. So sine theta, equals opposite over hypotenuse. Substituting into that, I have got sine 34 equals, the opposite is H, and the hypotenuse is 22. Because the H is on the top, I need to times the 22 across. H is equal to 22 times by sine 34. And when you type that into your calculator, you will get 12.30 meters when that's rounded to two decimal places. Okay, part B, find the angle to the horizontal of the cable reaching from point B. Okay, that means I'm trying to find this angle in here. And we want to find it this time to three decimal places, just to be tricky, they've changed the number of decimal places on us. All right, so we're using the second triangle, the triangle on the right now. We have just found that this side here is 12.30 meters tall. So remember this is a right angle triangle. I'm trying to find an angle. I have got the opposite side and I have got the adjacent side. So that is using tan. So write down the tan formula. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Substitute into the formula. Tan theta equals opposite is 12.30. The adjacent is 38. Then because we're finding an angle, we need to do inverse tan of that fraction. So in your calculator, you press inverse tan fraction button 12.3 over 38 and press oops close the bracket press equals okay now it does say that it wants it in decimal places so you're not going to degrees and minutes or anything else in decimal places that is 17.93 and we'd round that to six 
17.936 degrees. Okay, and that's it. That's trigonometry in three dimensions. Just be very, very careful with your diagrams. That will probably be the hardest part for this chapter.